Here we go, guys. Straight away, straight into it. God bless each and every one of you. God bless you, York. We have come here to tell you that the Almighty God, the living God who made you, who gave you your life, He loves you very much. We have come to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved and know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell. Because there are two literal places that you will spend eternity in, heaven or hell, and you have the choice. God wants all to be saved. And the only name under heaven given, given to us by which we can be saved is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man shall come to the Father but by me. No man shall see heaven but through the Lord Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I have come here to tell you the most important message that you will ever hear in this world, and it is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. The gospel, when you believe it, will grant you everlasting life. The gospel of Jesus Christ is this. How that Jesus died on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures, which is the blessed everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ. And when you believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Repent, change your minds, lay hold of your salvation. The decision within you to accept or reject the free gift of God will determine where you spend eternity. Because this life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever. Lay hold of your eternal salvation and destination. Heaven or hell and the choice is yours. The ball is in your court, whether you choose to accept the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, or reject it, and only find out how real hell is when you are actually in there. Please repent. Please change your minds from your own belief and believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who shed his blood for the forgiveness of all your sins. According to the scriptures, he was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. That is the gospel. And when you believe it in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved with everlasting life. You will be sealed with Holy Spirit of promise. You will be sanctified, set apart as holy for the Lord until the day of redemption, which is a upon us at any moment. Please repent, change your minds from your unbelief, lay hold of your salvation, believe on the Lord Jesus, his death, his burial, his resurrection from that cross for all your sin. Call upon Jesus for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. It's not about religion. And it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who goes to him. So lay hold of your salvation. You have the choice, heaven or hell. And it's all down to you. Please be open. Be open and humble enough to admit, yes, of course I have sinned. The Bible says that we all have sinned. And the way of sin is death 
but the free gift of God is eternal everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for anyone and everyone that believes. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you, but it's down to you to receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For by God's grace are we saved through our faith in Jesus. And it's not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God. Lay hold of this free gift which God is wanting to give you through his son Jesus. Believe the gospel that Jesus was indeed crucified on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day which is the blessed gospel of Jesus Christ. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus you will be saved with everlasting life you will never lose your salvation God will seal you with his Holy Spirit of promise this is the most important message that you will ever hear as you come into this world which is that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins he was buried he rose again from the dead on the third day and when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus you will be saved it's, it's not about religion and it doesn't matter what you have done all can be saved no matter who we are no matter what we have done for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved be a whosoever don't take the gamble that Jesus isn't who he says he is he says I am the way I am the truth I am the life Jesus Christ is alive the Lord Jesus Christ at any moment is going to descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ are going to be resurrected first and then all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus this is the rapture which is about to take place at any moment any moment now and this world is going to witness a great vanishing of many people in the rapture when Jesus takes them all up into heaven in the rapture don't be left behind lay hold of your salvation now Believe on Jesus. You have the choice. Jesus loves you. He will not turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. The gospel is that Jesus took the penalty in full on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day, which is the gospel. Believe that truly in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. Please lay hold of your salvation because this world is about to witness the rapture. A great disappearance of all Christians is about to take place. Place. A great vanishing of all believers that ever believe on Jesus is about to take place. Jesus is about to take all believers up into the heavens in the rapture. Don't be left behind. You can still be saved if, you're, if you find yourself left behind. But this one world leader will come on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world. He will proclaim himself to be the Messiah, but he is the false Christ. He is the Antichrist, and he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. The mark of the beast, 666. You won't be able to buy or sell anything unless you have his mark in your right hand or in your forehead. But once you take his mark you are sealing your fate and you will be cast into the lake of fire which is the second death please you don't even have to be here for what is about to take place on this world lay hold of your salvation now Jesus will not turn anybody away who goes to him 
be humble enough to admit, yes, of course I have sinned. The Bible says we all have sinned, me included. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for anyone and everyone who believes. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Time is short. Please accept the Lord Jesus into your heart today. He loves you. He doesn't want you to be left behind when the rapture takes place. God wants none to perish in hell. But the inevitable fact is there will be people in hell who reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And no man is going to see the heavens but through Jesus who said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Please be an any man, be a whosoever, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Lay hold of your salvation. God isn't asking you to get religious. You don't have to do anything apart from believe on the one who has done it all, Jesus Christ, who was sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the remission, for the forgiveness of all our sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. If you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved that if you confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved that's how simple it is to know you're saved going to heaven not going down to hell by believing the blessed gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus was indeed sacrificed on the cross for all our sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. Believe it. Believe it, people. Repent. Change your minds. Lay hold of your salvation. This is so important. It's a matter of life and death. It's a matter of heaven and hell. And it all bottles down to you whether you are going to receive the truth, the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do not gamble away your soul. Do not take the chance that Jesus isn't who he says he is. The way, the truth, the life, the Son of God, and the only way anybody's getting to heaven. Please do not gamble with your soul. Do not take the chance that heaven and hell are not real because they are and your decision to to accept or reject the free gift of God will determine which one you spend eternity in. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation. It's not about anything you must do apart from believing on what Jesus Christ has already done. Jesus died for you all, according to the scriptures. He was, he was buried, he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. He did that for you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be sacrificed, to shed his blood, because it is written, there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. So God gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be a sacrifice on the cross, to pay the debt in full for all our sins, past, present and future. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. Believe it. People, do not take this lightly. This is the most important message that you will ever hear in this world because it will determine where you spend eternity. This life is just for a moment. You are not guaranteed your next breath. 
you're not guaranteed to be here tomorrow. When you draw your last breath, you go into eternity. First, to the judgment seat of the almighty God, which created heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that there it is. And without Jesus Christ standing before the throne of God, you will not make it. You will not be granted access into heaven, but you will find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. You don't have to go there. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Change your minds from your unbelief. Lay hold of your salvation. You have the choice where you spend eternity. And there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man is going to see heaven but through Jesus, who said, I am the door. I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be and any man. The Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lay hold of your salvation. Turn to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus because he loves you. He will not reject you. He has promised that he will never turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. Go to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to call upon the name of Jesus. Invite him into your life. Say, yes, Jesus, I believe that you were crucified for all my sins. Yes, Jesus, I believe that they buried you in a tomb and you were raised to life on the third day. Yes, I believe, Lord Jesus, come into my life and you will be saved. That's how simple it is. Please. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. God loves everyone. God loves all that he made. But he's given us free will. He's given us a choice. He's given us a choice where we spend eternity, heaven or hell. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Change your mind. Believe the gospel of Jesus. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who goes to him. Please lay hold of your salvation. Don't be ashamed to say, I need you, Lord Jesus. Don't be ashamed to say, come into my life, Lord Jesus. I need you. I, I need your forgiveness, Lord Jesus. I need you to give me your free gift, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Just carry on a bit, I just need some water. God bless you, York. We haven't come here to tell you anything else apart from the fact that God loves each and every one of you. And we've come here to tell you how simple it is to enter into the kingdom of heaven and escape the outer darkness, hell beneath, by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because there is a very very real literal place called hell and there is a very real place called heaven which is paradise where people have everlasting joy upon their heads where they have everlasting dwelling places and your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God will determine where, which one you spend eternity in heaven or hell the choice is yours God wants you in heaven he wants not to perish but he said unless you repent you will all perish unless you change your minds from your unbelief and lay hold of your salvation. You will indeed perish. Why wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is? Why wait until it's too late? Lay hold of your salvation now. Jesus will not turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. The Bible makes it clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord.
be humble enough to say, I need you, Lord Jesus. Be humble enough to, to lay hold of your salvation by acknowledging, yes, of course I have sinned. Go to Jesus who paid the debt for all your sin on the cross. Lay hold of your eternal security. Your eternal destination depends on whether you are going to accept or reject God's free gift, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Please be humble enough to go to God and say, I need you, I need you, Lord Jesus. Cry out to the Lord Jesus because he will not turn you away. He has promised, lay hold of your salvation. God loves you so much. Please, it is the last time. It is the last hour. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you. This world is about to be turned upside down. Immediately upon the vanishing, the rapture of all Christians up into heaven, this world is going to be turned upside down when God shall pour out his judgments upon a world that has turned its back on him. God shall pour out his judgments upon this world, this unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Repent. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. Go to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Say, come into my life, Lord Jesus. I believe, Lord Jesus, that you were crucified on that cross for me, Lord Jesus. I believe that they buried you in a tomb, Lord Jesus. I believe that you were raised to life on the third day. Yes, I believe it. Call out to Jesus. Say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, because there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no man shall come to the Father God but through me. Go to Jesus, call upon Jesus, because he will not turn you away. It's not about being religious, and it doesn't matter what you have done. God has promised Jesus promised himself. He said, I will in no wise turn anybody away who comes to me. So lay hold of your salvation. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This life is not all there is. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And our choice to accept or reject the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and his free offer, his free gift of everlasting life will determine where you spend eternity. Please make the right choice. Call upon Jesus because he has promised he will not turn you away. Jesus will not despise your prayer. Pray to him. Call out to him because he loves you. Call out to the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and lay hold of your salvation. Please, God resists the proud, but he gives more grace to the humble. Be humble enough to admit and say, Yes, of course I have sinned. The Bible says we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ. Be humble enough to say, of course I have sinned. We've all lied, we've all done things we shouldn't have, we've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says the wages of this is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Be humble enough to admit, yes, of course, I have sinned. And then go to the one who paid the debt in full on the cross for all our sins. The gospel is that Jesus shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present and future when you believe. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. If you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Your name shall be written in the 
Wisdom Land's Book of Life. Please, this is the most important message. Change your minds. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Your eternal destination is at hand. This is the most important message that you will ever hear in this world. And this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's the Jesus is the only name under heaven given to us by which we can be saved. Jesus died on the cross for all our sin according to the scriptures, past, present and future sin. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Please repent. But Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Why wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is? Why are you gambling away your souls? Your soul is precious to God. God loves you, but he's given you a choice. He's given you free will to either accept or reject his free gift, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation of him also, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Why would anybody be ashamed of the Lord Jesus who shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins, who rose again from the dead on the third day? Do not be ashamed to call upon Jesus. Do not be ashamed to admit that you have need of a saviour. Go to Jesus. Call upon him. Say, so come into my life, Jesus. I believe. I believe that you paid the debts in full on the cross for all my sin. Yes, I believe it, Lord Jesus. Yes, I believe that you rose again from the dead on the third day. Yes, I believe it in my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my life and you will be saved and you will be granted a place in heaven. Repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. God bless each and every one of you. I am praying that Father God will pour out his spirit today upon this town, York City, and he will touch each and every one of your hearts with his love. I pray the presence of the Lord to come down upon York in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you return. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and unto our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent. Jesus said, unless you change your mind and repent, you will all perish. Unless you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will indeed perish perish. Please repent. Lay hold of your salvation. This is so important. It's a matter of life and death. It's a matter of heaven and hell. Whether you choose or reject the living God through Jesus Christ, please do not reject the very one who was sacrificed on the cross to pay the debt in full for all your sin. Don't be ashamed of him who was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. Believe that in your hearts. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. Please, it's a matter of heaven and hell. Your decision to, to just uh, reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, will determine where you spend eternity. Please, Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful, adulterous, wicked generation of him also, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Lay hold of your salvation. God loves you, but you have the choice. You have the choice in your heart whether you are going to where you are going to spend eternity, heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Lay hold of your salvation. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. This is this 
This is talking about eternity, where you are going to spend eternity. It's no joke. Please lay hold of your salvation. This is the most important message and more important now because the day of the Lord Jesus is at hand. Please lay hold of your salvation now. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus was indeed crucified on that cross for all our sins. He did indeed rise again from the dead. That's all that God's asking, that you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus and you will be saved. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Stop this, guys, on 30 minutes. Love you all. God bless you. Oh, the love I have for those people. God bless you.